Hello there. Today we're going to have a shave and we're going to talk about one of the very basic parts of wet shaving. And I might split this video up and do the shave on a separate video. But we're going to be using Ariana and Evans. Grecian horse. This was sent to me by Buddy Blankenship. This is absolutely fantastic. I wrote the scent notes down. Bergamot, almond, saffron, vanilla, lavender, jasmine, heliotrope, which I don't know what that is. I don't know what, what it smells like. Other spices, amber and sandalwood. And I can get, I get the bergamot. I get a tiny hint of the almond, but just really tiny. The saffron, the, the vanilla is in there strong, so is the lavender, then the jasmine, and the sandalwood. And I think the amber just kind of gives it almost a bit of a darkness. And it just, this is a fantastic scent. It would make a wonderful man's cologne. What we're going to do, we're going to talk about brush lather, or brush, brush loading. And I'm going to use my Maison de Barbier, House of the Barber. This on synthetic. It does not matter. I'm going to turn this on so that we can get the water warm. It does not matter what kind of brush you use. The, the technique is the same. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of water on this puck and I'm going to wet this brush really well. So that I know it's getting wet. And then I'm, I don't bloom my soap. I just want the surface of this soap to have a little bit of water. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to shake it firmly three times. This is what I do with every single brush I own. It doesn't matter what type it is. This is the way I lather a soap. Now you take the brush and begin to swirl it on the puck. Now you notice I'm not doing this. I'm just splaying it just a bit. And now when I was first starting to lather, learn to lather, if you look you'll see the, the lather's kind of thickening a bit. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of water. It doesn't take a lot of water. It just depends on when you add the water. So, alright, now I have sufficient moisture in that soap right now. And I'm going to continue to load. Now, I've had people tell me, well, until the brush feels this way or, you know, uh, I've even had people go, hey, look, that's what a loaded brush is like. Well, now, this is a loaded brush. And I'm going to pick up all the goodness that I can. But with the right water, it doesn't take much to load one. But I can't really tell you how to tell. I can't show you how to look at that and tell... I can't, it doesn't translate to the camera. I don't go by looks. I go by the feel of the brush on the soap. And that's something I can't explain to you either. What I would say to you is you want the, the soap wet enough and the brush wet enough that it's going to draw soap into the brush. And if there's any doubt. That brush is loaded. You saw that soap, soap push up out of there? Well, I'm not going to throw that away. It was down in the brush, but it doesn't matter. This soap is, this brush is loaded. Load your brush as a beginner like you don't like the soap and you want to use it up and get rid of it. Load the living crap out of soap. Now, I did it fairly fast because I'm more experienced and I can tell over the years. But you should load a brush until you think 
it's good and loaded and then you should repeat that you know and load it some more in the beginning one of the number one mistakes that I see uh, shavers bake is that they don't put enough soap in the brush they try to save the soap or they just don't put enough in it a lot of times it's because the brush is wet you saw what I did I wet the top of that soap and then poured it out so that the top of the soap would have some moisture on it and then I wet this brush real good and I only shook it out three times I didn't go and squeeze all the moisture out of it or anything like that your brush needs to be wet and you need water to lather a soap but you don't need so much water that the soap breaks down while you're trying to lather it and doesn't draw up into the brush you want the soap to still be kind of sort of thick so that it'll draw into the brush but that's the only way that I can tell you how to lather or how to load that brush is just load the living crap out of it until you think you've got a load in it and then load it some more all right we're going to move up and we're going to tackle face lathering okay we're back <clears throat> now i've got probably a week's worth of growth something like that one of the first things you need to understand is that soap is a salt okay it is a salt s-a-l-t and it will draw moisture from your face if you put it on a dry face a lot of times people think well you want to hydrate your beard yeah you want to do that a little bit uh, I don't do anything but splash my face and I don't have any issues you know when I first started out I did the hot tire treat towel treatment and spent 20 minutes you know before I even got to loading the brush okay uh, that was fun but it isn't really necessary at least for my skin but you want some moisture on your face so there's a lot of guys out there that cold water shave. I tried it. I hated it. And I'll never do it again. I like warm water, so I'm letting my water warm up. And when it gets wet, warm. I'm going to put a layer of moisture on my face. And take the brush. And begin to lather. What you want to do, you want to pay attention to how the soap feels. This soap is almost perfect. The reason that I know that is because when you first put a soap on your face, if it doesn't have enough water in it, It'll almost feel like it's smothering. This has got a tiny bit of that, but not much. I can feel air moving through that soap. But now I want to build this a bit. So what I'm going to do is just like I did when I added soap to the brush when I was la uh, loading. I'm going to pass that under the water very quickly a couple of times. Okay, it's not building. I'm going to add some more water. And I'm paying attention to what the way the lather looks but more importantly what I'm doing is paying attention to how it feels on my face there's gonna come a point where there it goes but I'm gonna add just a little bit more because this soap feels like it could take it and the more water that you put in a soap the slicker generally most soaps will get but you see how that is building okay well it's because I'm adding little bits of water to it a bit at a time until it's the consistency that I want and I'm listening or rather I'm feeling paying attention to the way my face feels because I want the lather to sort of open up and allow the air to move in my experience what will happen is that my face will feel like it's getting a bit cooler almost like you've got menthol in it but not the, the soap has enough water content in it, in it that the air can pass through it that tells me I've got enough water in my soap 
even if I boil lather, which we'll get into uh, at another time, even if I boil lather, when I put it on my face, I'll pay attention to the way it feels and adjust it if I need to. And if I have to adjust it, then when I go back for my second pass, I'll add water to the bowl. Okay, so we're going to shave. I don't know whether this has got an edge on it or not because I forgot it was in my cabinet. With my urn, hopefully, crown and sword. I think I put a nice edge on this, but we're going to find out. Oh, good heavens, I did. Yes. I don't know what's on it. Feels awfully a lot like a... A black Arkansas. Another way that you can tell... Hold on a minute. Another way you can tell whether you got enough soap, and I'm going to tilt the camera down. Now watch the soap when I run water on it. Yeah, it runs clean off of the blade. If it sticks to the blade when you try to run water over it, you don't have enough water in your soap. It should easily rinse off of your blade. That's a killer edge. I can't believe I forgot this blade was in my collection. First world problems. Just doing it better. Oh, touch up. Soap's got decent residual slickness. I could wish for more, but you got to be careful because some soaps get slicker the more you use them. In, in other words, this soap has a tendency to to kind of dry really quickly on my face. It's not drying. The skin on my face, but if there's slickness in it, and there is, it goes away after the lather is removed. But I can, if I move my hand across there, I can feel a residual soap left. So when I go for my second pass, it'll probably, or chances are, it'll be a lot slicker the second time around. Yeah, it's got some slickness. To it. And it's a great stable soap. It took a a lot of water and I bet you that uh I could throw more water to it and it would stand up to it. So let's try pass number two. The scent of this soap, and yeah, I could shave off of that. I could shave without any kind of soap. There's so much slickness there now. Just because I put a little bit of water on my face, I could shave without it a bit of soap if I really want it, but what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to push this soap with water just to see what it does and now if the soap collapses it's not the soap's fault uh, I'm pushing this as far as I can just to see what it will do and there can come a point with the soap where you've gotten too much water in the soap and it can't hold together so don't judge the soap okay now it's going to start do you saw that soap falling it's going to if i moved really fast i'd swing the ladder all over the bathroom so i'm going to call that good that is way more water than any soap should ever have to take right there and it's flipping slick as owl snot so yeah definitely good good stuff And from what I can tell, it's taking all the water that anyone would ever want to put in the soap and it's stable. And now I've got a problem where I can't grab my skin to stretch it. Because it's too slow, too slick and I cut myself there. On that first pass, I don't know. I felt the tip of the blade skip a bit because I got up above the ladder, I think. It happens even to someone who's got a bit of experience. That's why it's called shaving. Because you're you're using a razor. Now let me stop and take care of that. Let me get my chin first. Fantastic. Now, there's an essential item that you should have in your den. You see that little cut there? This is called a styptic pencil or styptic pen, whatever you want to call it. This is a, I believe it's a Colonel Conk or Pinard Club. This is Pinard Club. But they, you can get them at Walmart or anywhere else now. Some guys use an Allen block, but in my experience, the Allen block doesn't stop heavier cuts the way that this will. This won't, you know, if you need stitches, this ain't going to stop it. Okay, but if you cut yourself good, this will stop it better than the Allen block in my experience. And I don't like the Allen block for my skin because it seems like when I use it, it always feels like there's like 10,000 tiny needles all over my face and you can't wash it off. So I, I know people swear by them, but I don't recommend them and I don't use them. But that's up to you. You might find that they tighten your skin and uh, they work well for you. A lot of guys do. I just don't. But you just rub it over that spot. And take this. If it's got a little blood on it, rinse it off. Take a towel, kind of do this number, and then set it, this has got a little foot, up, and let it dry, don't close it up. If you close it up while it's wet, it'll basically eat away, and you'll lose most of it. Okay, see how stable that is, and it stings a tiny little bit, but not much, be a man. Okay, it's no big deal.
Lovely. That's a lovely shave. We're gonna rinse off the face. I'm gonna use a wet towel. I'm not scrubbing my face. I don't need to. I don't need to be rough on my face or anything of the sort. Treat your face well. Don't abuse it. Alright. <laughs> Squeaky. I love it. That's a wonderful shade. And for an aftershave, I know whoever makes Arian, Arian and Ar Ariana and Evans are probably screaming right now. I don't care. It's my shave. And I have in my den what I have in my den. And this right here, actually, I might be wrong, but actually, we're going to change that. I'm looking for something that's as close as I can think of to that scent, I think. Yeah. This is not close to the scent, but the notes in this match really well with what is going on with that scent. Now, you don't have to match your aftershave and your soap. You can. That's part of the fun of the hobby for some people. What I do is I look in my den and look at the aftershaves that I have and find out which one I think, pick which one I think will actually complement the scent and Hermes does in my opinion so and that's all subjective sin is subjective and, and whatever you think is right is right and everybody else tell everybody else to you know uh, kiss your rear end if they don't like it so yeah but that's the shave that's face lathering and brush loading and uh, I hope that you found something here that's useful and it will help you in loading a brush and lathering with the face lather method. Bless you. Once again, buddy, thanks for the soap, Ariana and Evans. Grecian horse, this base is slamming good. The soap base itself, the scent's fantastic too, but the soap, this base, rocks. That's an awesome soap. All right. Bless you, and I'll talk to you later.